Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Hunter with Robo Outdoors and today we're going to talk about my top five favorite items to take with me winter camping. Oh man, the lighting's wrong for full flex. So, when you have a truck like the Moose, sometimes you got to clear some trails. So this little Milwaukee... So in this we're going to be talking about some of the things that I like to bring camping with me to keep me warm during the winter or colder months. I do live here in Michigan so part of the year it is usually hovering around in the 30s and 40s for a good few months and uh, of course we typically get some of that snow up here as well. So first up here this kind of goes into a broader category of dressing warm but one of my favorite things that I've recently started trying out with winter camping this is a heated vest, and I know they do make like heated jackets and things of that sort. Milwaukee is one that you would think from all my Milwaukee tools and how much of a fan I am of those. If you are a follower of the channel, I would have one of those, but this is just a scent lock vest, uh, really nice for wearing like under your clothing while you're out doing whatever. Now the thing with like these heated clothings is they are meant to be the closer layer to your body. So for example, let's say, I have like a t-shirt on and then I have this vest and then like a jacket on over top of it. That's going to keep you a lot warmer than let's say throwing this just on the outside which I have seen people do from time to time. Next item up is going to be this heated blanket here or here. This is actually what's called a heated throw so it's not quite the size of a blanket. But what I usually like to do with this is I have a big battery powered rock piles or big essentially battery you can plug and you know things into and charge all kind of electronics and all that fun stuff is before I get into my sleeping bag I'll put this in there and turn it on so that way it kind of preheats my sleeping bag a little bit or another thing you can do too if like let's say when I bring the wife out and stuff like this I can put this on her chair so that way when she sits on it it's kind of like warming her up that way too or you know really just if you use blankets or anything like that you can throw this down lay on top of it and it'll keep you pretty warm throughout the night. Uh, next up, I don't have this one with me, and even if I did, it's a rather large, bulky item, so I wouldn't be holding it up. But that is a good sleeping bag, and you want to make sure you pay attention to the survivability rating of your sleeping bag, and it's typically the temperature that's advertised. For example, the sleeping bag that I take out with me is a Cabela's Outfitter Series. It's the XL, so it's like really big. When you unzip it completely, it can essentially be like a comforter on a king size bed. It's huge. And... The survivability rating on that sleeping bag is minus 20 degrees. Now, you're not gonna be comfortable, but it will keep you alive. I've been out in Colorado with a 32 degree sleeping bag and it was seven degrees outside. And if I didn't have that heat to throw with me, I probably would have froze. I mean, I was pretty cold throughout the night anyway, but at least I had the heat to throw to kind of give me something to uh, warm me up. Now, I only have one of these two items that we're gonna be talking about today, but, and that is some kind of unit to heat your tent, your, you know, camper, whatever it is. This is just the Buddy Heater. It's a very popular series. Um, runs off of propane. They do make different sizes of these. And the other one that I was going to mention is having a diesel heater. That is something a lot of people, especially up here, have been moving to because with propane, you do get like condensation built up on the side of your tent or whatever. And with a diesel heater, you don't because it's a dry heat. So I don't have one of those yet, unfortunately. And with it kind of being towards the end of the winter season, I'm going to hold off until this next upcoming winter or fall to get one of those. And I'll let you guys know once I do get one. And my last item up, I'm not going to pick this up, but I'll show some video clips here, is going to be some kind of a fire pit, whether that be propane or whatever. The one I like to keep with me is just a cheap one I got off Amazon. And I have run this thing on high for, geez, probably easily 16 to 18 hours off a full 20 pound propane tank. And it's lasted quite a bit. And of course you can dial that down to how you need be, but it's a really nice thing to, you know, put outside with you when you first get up in the morning and you're making breakfast. Or if you're, you know, late at night and you're cooking up some food and it's dark out because obviously in the winter months it gets a little darker 
quicker than it does in the summer months. Or, for example, there's like a burn ban. I know a lot of guys out west, they'll carry some kind of propane fire pit with them, so that way you can still have some sort of heat or light and all that kind of, you know, campfire enjoyment. And my favorite thing is there's no smoke, so you don't got to be the one guy chasing or running away from the uh, smoke trail that's following you. So I'll kind of wrap this little video up. I know it was kind of a short one this week. Uh, stuff's been keeping me pretty busy here, but I am trying to stay with that one video a week here. So if you guys have anything that you like to bring winter camping, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. I love chatting with you guys. And as always, like, share, subscribe, comment if you thought the video was good, thought the video was bad, let me know. I like talking to you guys. Hit the bell notification if you haven't already. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.